the world is going electric, with countries racing to adopt clean transportation. But there's a surprising holdout, Japan, the birthplace of the first mass-produced electric car, the Nissan Leaf. So, why are the Japanese seemingly rejecting EVs when the rest of the world embraces them? In this video, we'll delve into the real reasons why Japanese drivers are hitting the brakes on EVs. So stick around until the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel first. Regarding auto innovation, Japan has been like that cool kid in school who's always ahead of the curve. They pioneered just-in-time manufacturing and led the charge on hybrid cars. But now, with the world buzzing about electric vehicles, are the Japanese lagging? Well, not exactly. Nissan, for instance, rolled out the Leaf, a fully electric car, over a decade ago. And guess what? They've sold over half a million of those bad boys. That's like selling out a concert venue five times over. Not too shabby for an EV. But as more players jump into the EV game, Japan's once comfy lead might feel cramped. Regulators worldwide are pushing for an all-electric future faster than you can say. Charge me up! And while Japan's car bigwigs have been killing it with their eco-friendly rides, they're starting to feel the heat. So, what's Japan's game plan? Well, they're not hitting the panic button just yet. With all the dough they've pumped into EV tech, they're not about to let someone else steal their thunder. Masata, the mastermind behind the Leaf, knows what's up. He's worried that Japan might miss out on this golden opportunity if they focus too much on short-term gains. When the winds of change blow, there's always a tinge of fear. Just ask Mr. Inoue, the former Nissan Big Shot, who waved goodbye in 2014. He saw it coming, the electric vehicle, EV revolution. And did he have thoughts? A big wave of electric vehicles is coming, ready or not, he warned. And you know what? He wasn't wrong. Right now? It's more like a gentle ripple than a tidal wave. Less than 3% of cars sold worldwide are electric. Why? Well, for starters, they're pricier than your average gas guzzler. Plus, there's the whole range anxiety thing. Nobody wants to get stranded in the middle of nowhere with a dead battery. And let's not forget those marathon charging sessions that make even the most patient folks squirm in their seats. Making a profit off these electric wonders? That's a tough nut to crack, unless you're peddling luxury rides to the elite. But despite the hurdles, this year has been a game changer. Tesla, the poster child of the EV movement, has been zooming ahead faster than a Formula One car on race day. And then there's General Motors, making headlines with a bold proclamation. No more tailpipe emissions by 2035. Talk about setting the bar high. Sure, it's ambitious. But if you're not aiming for the stars, what's the point? Last week, Volvo dropped a bombshell. They're going all in on electric vehicles by 2030. While they're busy making bold moves, their competitors are playing catch up. But Volvo isn't alone in this race. They've got some heavyweight contenders breathing down their necks. Meanwhile, across the pond, American, Chinese, European, and even South Korean automakers are revving their engines, ready to leave their Japanese rivals in the dust. Sorry, Toyota, but your first battery electric car didn't hit the streets until the dawn of 2020. And then there's poor Honda, leaning on General Motors to churn out electric cars for the American market. It's like asking your neighbor to borrow a cup of sugar. A little embarrassing, don't you think? But let's face it, the numbers don't lie. Less than 5% of all electric vehicles sold globally last year were Japanese. However, Nissan's Leaf still holds its own, accounting for 65% of all battery electric cars sold in Japan. So, what's next? Governments worldwide are cracking the whip, ready to lay down the law. Some are talking about mandating more electric car sales, while others threaten to kick gasoline to the curb. Burning rubber has also sparked a mad dash toward electric rides in China, Europe, and beyond. Scientists are waving their eco flags, preaching that ditching gas guzzlers is our ticket to stopping global warming and scrubbing the skies clean of pollution. And it has lit a fire under the electric car market. Investors are tossing their cash into the electric pot, believing these babies are the wheels of the future. Just look at Tesla. It's worth more than the combined value of the next six automakers. But let's keep it real. Tesla's sales are just a drop in the bucket compared to the big boys. But hold on, because not everyone's hopping on the electric bandwagon without a second thought. Over in Japan, the government and automakers are raising an eyebrow at all this electric fervor. They're not sold on the idea that electric cars are the holy grail of profitability and eco-friendliness, at least not in the short to medium term. Japan threw down the gauntlet last December, 
declaring that new gasoline-powered cars will be as extinct as the dinosaurs by 2035. But hybrids are still fair game. Japan's government sees hybrids as the golden child of the auto world, with no plans to follow in the footsteps of places like Britain and California, which are saying goodbye to hybrids faster than anything else. In a recent chat with the trade ministry bigwig, Japanese regulators hinted that they'll spill the beans on their plans later this year. But guess who's not jumping on the electric bandwagon? None other than Akio Toyoda, the head honcho at Toyota, the folks who practically invented the hybrid game. As Toyota's big boss, Akio has some serious clout. Not only does Toyota lead the pack in hybrid sales worldwide, but Akio also chairs the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association. Talk about pulling the strings, huh? And if that wasn't enough, Toyota has its fingers in many pies. It's cozying up with automakers like Daihatsu, Subaru, Suzuki, and Mazda to cook some electric and hybrid rides. Together, this dream team produces more than half of all Japanese cars. But wait, there's more. Toyota is also waving the flag for hydrogen-powered rides, a technology so fresh it's practically still sizzling. As the face of the Automobile Association, Akio Toyota is not holding back. He's straight up dissing the idea of Japan going all in on electric cars. During a press gab fest in December, Akio didn't mince words. He called out the Japanese media for hyping electric rides, throwing shade on their supposed eco-friendliness and money-making potential. According to Akio, the cleanliness of electric cars boils down to who's making them and where they're getting their juice. Japan, Toyota's stomping ground, and the second biggest market for the auto giant, is gunning to go carbon neutral by 2050. But Akio Toyota's not buying into the hype. He's laying down some hard truths, folks. As long as Japan's still hooked on fossil fuels for juice, the supposed eco-friendly vibe of their cars is nothing but smoke and mirrors. Akio's not sugarcoating it either. He's sounding the alarm, warning that Japanese automakers are teetering on the edge. Force them into an all-electric car showdown, and you'll see millions of jobs biting the dust and a whole industry of auto parts suppliers going belly up. But shifting gears from hybrid to electric ain't no joyride. According to Mr. Inoue, these two beasts can't be tamed on the same platform. If companies don't get with the program now, cranking out electric whips down the road will be more challenging than herding cats. Furthermore, the company announced its commitment to achieving carbon neutrality by 2050 in January, aligning with a recent shift in federal policy. But let's not rev the engines just yet. They're taking it slow, much like their fellow Japanese automakers. Joji Tagawa, Nissan's chief sustainability officer, spilled the beans in an email, revealing that by the early 2030s, every shiny new vehicle hitting Nissan's prime markets will be electrified but they're easing into the electrified game in other markets. In the meantime, they're putting the pedal to the metal to promote their latest hybrid tech, the e-power. Basically, it's an electric motor juiced up by a gas generator. Kazuo Yajima, the brains behind the leaf before venturing into creating microelectronic vehicles at Blue Sky Technology, dropped a bombshell. He reckons Japan's lukewarm stance on emission-free rides will leave its automakers eating dust. According to Mr. Yajima, China and the EU have already waved the white flag in the hybrid tech battle, diverting their resources into juicing up electric rides, batteries, and all. His concern? Japan's foot dragging could steer them towards the same fate as the nation's consumer electronics giants, rendered obsolete by their failure to keep up with the times. It's a showdown, folks, and if Japan wants to come out on top, they've got to play their cards right in the next decade. So that's all for today. Let's sign off. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I will see you in the next video.